Let's meet on our mat in a seated position, any comfortable seated position that you prefer. If you have any essential oils or candles or light dimmers, like feel free to set the mood for yourself. Some TLC, I'm gonna put this essential oil on my wrists. Just to really help me get into that relaxing mood. <sighs> so if you have anything at home that you can use, totally recommend it. Now would be a great time. You can sage the room, Palo Santo. Whatever you got, now's the time. <laughs> Even just smelling a fruit, whatever just you can do with your senses to just activate them and find this nice peaceful feeling within, just do that for a moment. And then let's find our seated pose. Close the eyes. Breathe deeply from the nose. Beginning your seated meditation with a little body scan to see how you're feeling today, to check your posture. See how breathe your, how deep you're breathing. If it's going all the way to your belly or if it's kind of stopping at the chest, if it is stopping at the chest, try to breathe a little bit deeper, feeling the breath travel all the way down to your hip region. When I say find a comfortable seat, I truly mean to find a comfortable seat. Don't just Sit down if you have any pains, if you feel uncomfortable, do what you need to do to feel comfortable in your seat. If that means sitting on a pillow, maybe placing blocks or pillows under your knees, if this is too much of a hip opener, if your back is hurting, you know, just move around, use your props to find that optimal, comfortable seat. <sighs> Connecting with your root at your seat, feeling like you're sitting in the middle of the earth. Like your sit bones are connected to the earth beneath you. While at the same time you feel length in your spine, your heart is open, your shoulders glide up and down the back. We're practicing thoughtful therapeutic yoga. So I really want you to set an intention for yourself today in this practice, connecting us to our thoughts, to being thoughtful, to being mindful in our practice and outside of our practice. Just set any intention that you like, maybe something about your breathing pattern, something about your posture, Maybe you have a pain or a tension and you want to just release that tension away, let it melt away with the practice today. Or something completely separate to our yoga practice today. Something in your life, something you want. Anything you want, anything you want to set your intention to, you can. It's up to you and your practice. After you chose your intention, just repeat it to yourself over and over again, sort of like a mantra. So try to set an intention that's maybe a couple of words and just say it over and over and over, maybe about 10 times. You can say it out loud as well if you wish and you're comfortable. 
or you can say it in your head. Slowly start to open your eyes, holding that intention close to your heart during this practice. Let's start with a breathing exercise, a pranayama exercise. Prana is the vital life force, energy of life. It travels through your body, through the universe, through everything. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna do the balancing one, which is called either Nadi Shodhana or Anuloma Viloma. It has multiple names. <laughs> You're gonna take both hands. We're gonna add a little bit of movement. Sometimes I like to practice with one hand, but today we're gonna to practice with both. So we're gonna take both hands and take the index finger and the middle finger to the middle of your hand. So it should look like this on both of your hands. Nice. From here, we'll place them back on your knees, keeping the index and the middle finger in the middle of your palm the entire time. We're gonna take a deep breath through the nose. Hold the breath and bring your right hand up to cover your right nostril and exhale on the left nostril. Inhale in the left nostril. Hold for a moment as you switch hands, closing the left nostril with your left thumb and exhaling on the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold the breath, switch hands, closing the right nostril with the right thumb, exhale on the left. And that was one round. So let's just do five of those. You can do it at your own pace or with me and we'll see how you feel afterwards. Inhale through the left. Switch hands, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold your breath. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left, hold the breath and switch. Try to find this nice, beautiful movement with your hands. Exhale on the right, inhale on the right. Flowing like water, it shouldn't feel stiff. Exhale on the left, inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. Let's do one round together. One more. Inhale on the left. Hold the breath. Switch hands. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Switch hands, exhale on the left. And just to complete it off, we'll inhale on the left and finish with an exhale on the right. Bring both hands back to your knees. You can release the hand mudra, the hand position. And just close your eyes for a moment. Feeling the benefits of that short breathing exercise. There's many benefits. It balances both sides of your body, the energy on both sides, your female and your male energy, your yin and your yang. It helps with any insomnia problems to sleep better. It helps find mental clearness and clarity. 
So see if you can feel any of that just after this short practice. And you can practice for as long as you'd like. That's comfortable for you. And just like I said before, you can also do it with one hand and just switch between closing the right and left nostril with your ring finger and your thumb. But sometimes I like to play with both and add this water-like flowing movement with the hands. So I hope you enjoyed it too. <sighs> From here we'll move into more asana practice, pose practice. So we'll take your seated position, doesn't matter what leg is forward or back, but just bring the left leg forward a bit so it stays in front of you and the right leg will turn out and they're connected. So it will look like this, like a sort of like a zigzag shape, sort of. The feet will connect with the knee. The foot, the left foot will connect with the right knee. And then we'll just bring the upper body towards our left leg and over. Coming into a twist here, a gentle twist, massaging the abdominal organs. We'll take 10 deep breaths here, just to relax in this twist. Mm. Your hands can be however you wish. You can stay on the forearm like I'm doing, or you can go all the way down to the ground, resting your head on the floor depending how deep you want to go into that twist. And the compression in the left uh, hip crease region as well. Slowly come back up and let's switch sides. So you're gonna come back to your seated position Right leg will come forward now in front of you and the left leg will turn out. Right foot connected to left knee. And just fold over to the right side. Again, choosing to be on your elbows or resting your head on your hands. Props are always welcome. So if you have any pillows and you just want to rest on a comfy pillow, you can also do that. <laughs> Breathe deeply, feel the movement of your belly against your thigh, getting this nice gentle abdominal massage, stimulating all your abdominal organs. Slowly come up back to center, and we'll turn over to come into a child's pose. Legs together, feet together. And just start to slide down, resting your upper body on your legs. Hands will come forward. You can also choose to grab your uh, heels. If you want a more compact child's pose and you're not really up for the shoulder opener at this moment, that's totally okay. So it's up to you. Feel your breath against your thighs together. Feel how broad your back feels. As if you could imagine someone just stretching out your back to the outer edges. Inhale, so if your hands aren't already forward, let's bring them forward. We're gonna come into a thread the needle variation here in our child pose. So we're gonna take the left hand, bring it under your right armpit, and then come back down towards the ground. You can look towards your right arm as well. So if that's more comfortable than being on the forehead, or you can stay on the forehead. It's really stretching that shoulder region now. Slowly 
come back to center and let's switch sides. To your regular child's pose, taking the right hand under your left armpit region. And again, coming back down towards the ground, you can look towards the left or stay with the forehead on the ground. Slowly come back to center. And we'll take the hands all the way to the right as much as we can. And then go down again, feeling this nice deep lateral side bend stretch on the left side of our body. Slowly rise up and let's change sides. Bringing your hands all the way to the left side now. As much as you can, planting down the hands, dropping the forehead to the ground and feeling this deep lateral stretch on the right side now. the head up. Let's return back to center and come back on our fingertips to enter our ankle stretch, stretching the front of the foot and ankle region. And you shouldn't be really leaning against your hand. They're just there to support you slightly. If you want, you can remove the hands as well. Or if this is too much, you can just stay with the knees on the ground, hands on your lap and just Focus here. Lots of variation. We'll just take five deep breaths here. Take this second to just remember your intention. And slowly come forward. Let's come onto our toes, entering the toe stretch pose. After we were stretching the front of our foots for a while, let's do the opposite and stretch the soles of our feet. In our toe stretch, let's add some head circles to forget about that intense stretch. <laughs> you can close the eyes and just focus on your breath, finding this stillness, this quiet place in your mind, even when we're in an intense stretch in our feet. And circle the head to the other direction. And slowly come out. Take a second to tap the feet. Allowing the energy to flow freely, circulation to increase in your feet and out of your feet. We don't want any stagnant energy there. But let's come back for a moment on our toes and come into a short toe balance, which means from our toe stretch, you can use your hands to slowly lift up the knees and bring your hands to heart center just for a moment, finding your stillness, your balance in this posture, in your life. You close the eyes for an extra challenge in your balance or keep them open and focus on one point on the floor. And slowly release. 
Let's come forward on our hands and drop our chest to the ground, coming into puppy pose, keeping the hips high. Slowly releasing the chest towards the ground. If you want, you can stay on your forearms if this is already deep enough for you, or you can slowly keep sliding until your chest hits the ground. You can be with the chin on the ground or the forehead. Again, if you have any props, you can use them to go deeper into the posture or to help you with extra support. I like to use blocks sometimes to go deeper into my puppy pose. If you have books, you can use those too. And you place your elbows on the block and just let your head sink through. Hands come overhead and together in Namaste Mudra, Anjali Mudra. This is just to add an extra shoulder stretch. You don't need to do it. You can stay in your puppy pose variation that works best for you. Let's slowly come out. Make a box. And continue forward onto your belly. <clears throat> Taking a moment on your belly here, feeling your belly against the ground in this prone position. <sighs> we'll place our hands by our chest. We're gonna inhale, rise into a variation of Cobra where our hands just hover over the ground and just our back will be doing the work here really. So inhale, come up, look forward. You don't have to work so hard here, like rising up into an actual cobra. Just looking forward, feeling the energy of your heart and chest open forward. Hands will hover, hover above the floor near the chest region. Breathing deeply, feeling your body rise and fall on the ground. And slowly release. We'll come into a half toad, half frog, quad stretch. It's really yummy, nice therapeutic stretch here. So let's take the left hand in front of us, but not just facing forward, it will be parallel to us. So straight in front of you. And then we're gonna turn behind us and grab our right foot. So we'll look like this first. And then from here, turning back forward, just pressing on the foot, going into this nice quad stretch. You can rest your head on the ground as well if you want a more uh, restorative posture. Or you can stay up on your elbow, staying in this nice back bend, heart open forward. Deep breaths. Use your breath as a tool to go deeper into postures. Every inhale finding length, every exhale going a little bit deeper into the pose. Your body will allow for it. As long as you don't feel any pain, you can keep going. Slowly release, let's change sides. Bringing the right hand in front of you now, straight in front of you. Tilting towards your right arm to grab your left foot. And then coming back forward, you can choose to stay up or resting the head, so the forehead on your arm. Breathing deeply again, using your breath as a tool to go deeper into the pose. To feel this deep stretch in the quad muscle, in your thigh muscle. And slowly release. Bringing the hands forward. We're gonna bring the right hand out to the side of us. Shoulder height, so we'll look like this. 
We're gonna come into this broken branch posture, a yin pose that I love so dearly. It's a really great shoulder stretch and twist for the body. So our right hand is out towards the side, shoulder height, palms facing down. We're gonna use our left hand and our legs to help us turn over towards the left side, bringing our weight onto our right shoulder. You can bring the left hand behind you as a stand. And the left hand can stay on the ground as well. Take 10 deep breaths here, going deep into this pose, feeling this nice deep stretch in the shoulder. In yin postures, there's amazing benefits from closing your joints for a moment, putting pressure on them. Because when we get out of the posture, the circulation will rush through intensively, removing any blockages from your circulation, your blood circulation and your lymph circulation. Clearing out this whole area, um, refilling it with new circulation and blood and lymph. If your hand starts to tingle, it's totally okay and part of the practice. Just think of it like a dam. When it's blocked off, the water just stays and then you open the dam and all the energy flows through all the liquid. So that's what we want from our joints and our extremities as well. We don't want anything stagnant or stuck in our circulation. We want to help everything move and circulate freely. So we love this pose. We'll slowly come out back to center. <sighs> Just take a moment to feel the release in your right shoulder. And let's switch sides. Bring the left hand out now. Coming up onto your right hand and starting to turn your body towards the left, towards the right side now, until your right foot comes around and can land on the floor as a stand. Right hand can stay on the floor here to help us stay stable. Or you can relax in the hand, whatever feels best for you. Breathing deeply, sending every breath to your left shoulder region. I hope you're enjoying this posture as much as I am. <laughs> if you want even more to enter this posture, to intensify it, you can keep turning and also stand with your left leg as well. So they'll both be with their feet on the ground. Coming into a deeper twist here, almost getting your whole pelvis, lower back on the ground. You don't need to do that, yeah? We can stay with the left leg straight with just the right foot on the ground. Just see if you can, if that feels nice for you, you have that option. One more deep breath here. Let's slowly come back to center. Whew. Feeling all the circulation flood back into your left hand. <laughs> Let's slowly turn onto our backs. <sighs> Bringing the knees to chest, giving yourself a big hug. Hugging your knees tightly, holding opposite elbows, bringing your head to your knees for a moment, just squeezing everything together with so much love. 
so much passion for your body, for your health. And slowly release your head to the ground, keeping the knees bent in the chest. We're gonna take our hands to our knees and add a little breathing pattern here. Inhale, push the knees away, still holding the knees. Exhale, bring the knees back to chest. Keep going, connecting your breath to your movement. Feeling your lower back lift slightly as you push the knees forward and then grounding in the lower back, feeling it completely on the ground as you come knees to chest on your exhale. Couple more breaths here. Last one. Still holding the knees now. Just gonna circle the knees around, working on our hip joint, the thigh joint area. Just working on the mobility here. Allowing the joint to move freely, to lubricate. Shouldn't feel any pain or tension here. If you feel any stiffness, just make the circles smaller. But try to get to these nice, big, deep circles with the knees to really get into the hip joint. And let's change direction from whatever direction you started with. As our last posture, let's enter a nice reclined twist here. Those are always nice. So I like to add them to the end of our practice. So let's bring the right leg over the left. You can bind if you want, like an eagle pose, or you can not bind and just have this cross-legged um, position. So right is over left, and we're gonna turn the legs all the way to the left, letting the knees fall to the ground. Bring the right arm out, shoulder height, and look towards your right hand. Relax in the body. If anything feels stiff or active, release. The feet, the back, the shoulders, the neck. Just breathe deeply here into this twist, releasing any tension from the back region. Slowly come back to center. Let's change legs, bringing the knees back to chest. Left over right. Again, you can choose to bind or just stay with this open cross leg position. And bring the legs all the way to the right side till the knees touch the ground. And look towards the left. Left hand is out shoulder height. Try to keep your shoulders both on the ground if you can. Slowly coming back to center. Let's enter our Shavasana posture to finish off our practice. Legs will be as wide as your mat or wider if that's comfortable. Make sure your body is aligned. Sometimes we don't feel it, but we can be kind of curved in the spine or the hips or the legs. So try to find this nice alignment with your body. Straight legs, straight spine, straight neck. If you have any lower back pain, you can bend the knees. 
Uh, bend the legs and keep the le the feet as wide as your mat and bend the knees towards the center, creating space in the lower back. But if you're okay, we're with legs straight here in a normal Shavasana corpse pose. Hands by your hips, palms facing up. Let's take a deep breath together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Extra, extra release, because why not? And just start to breathe deeply, everything relaxing in the body, not using any muscles. Just feeling your belly rise and fall with every breath. here for just one minute. I know you can do it. upon your intention. If it had to do with your practice today, I hope you stuck with it throughout your whole practice. And if not, that's okay too. We're always learning and observing. So take it as you please. Just thinking about it again for a moment. If it didn't have to do with the practice, just thinking about it and sending positive energy towards it will already strengthen it and strengthen the energy of your intention outside in the world as well. Taking a couple more full breaths here, filling up the whole body with oxygen and releasing completely, feeling your belly drop to the ground beneath you, releasing all the carbon dioxide. Keeping the eyes closed, let's meet each other in a comfortable seat. It can be the same seat that you did at the beginning of the practice, or maybe a different one. Just feeling the circulation flow back down to your body. I think it's my favorite part of the whole practice. Returning to your normal breath. Feeling a nice, beautiful posture here. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. Thank you.